What is going on YouTube? Hit back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at XRP, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin. Uh, we're going to be spending a good bit of time on the news. Uh, more specifically, if you guys can see the XRP Ripple name dropped on BBC segment on cryptocurrency. So I wanted to dive into that and kind of suggest where that could be leading the rest of these cryptocurrencies to move to in the near future, as well as kind of tie in what is going on within the market cap. We're starting to see a bit of retracement right now within um, some really big name cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, XRP, Ethereum. So those are starting to retrace and kind of signify exactly where the rest of the markets are going. As you guys know, when the markets are starting to get slow, I it's kind of hard to stay interested. So I'd like to talk about in those times, um, some you know recent current events and things in the news that will kind of spark people's interest in different topics on crypto. Otherwise, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up. We just broke 12,500 subscribers on our way to 13,000. Otherwise, let's jump into today's episode. So as you guys can see, I'm on my YouTube channel right now, and you'll notice a couple of things. Yesterday, we made a video which pretty much talked about exactly where the point of breakout could be in the near future, as well as where the current price is right now. We're starting to see a small uptrend, or we were starting to see a small uptrend yesterday, which eventually hit something called the high-low middle moving average, which we'll, we'll discuss in a second. And we're pretty much basing focus as to whether or not we'll retrace lower or start to swing back to the upside and head higher. Now, I do want to discuss that in a or in later or later times in today's video i do want to focus on this interesting concept that came to mind in the fact that bbc is talking about cryptocurrency right now then we'll go into the technical analysis on these other cryptocurrencies because i know a lot of you guys have interest in that as well so right now i'm on ethereumworldnews.com and this article dropped yesterday i believe or sorry it actually dropped today in regards to a ripple or xrp and ripple name dropped on the bbc segment on crypto and i actually pulled up the video to show you guys it's on twitter Twitter in a second, but you can see it does go into some pretty fascinating um, realizations, I guess, that there was just a time a few years ago when Bitcoin, crypto, and blockchains were topics best left for those on the fringe for many of mainstream failed to understand the importance and potential of these technologies. Now, mainstream media have started to cover their space quite often, writing about it, shooting shows about it, and such. And short cryptos are starting to enter the mainstream conscious, which is awesome because like it was saying previous times when the only reason and the only times it was talked about was due to fraud or um, you know money laundering things of negativity that's when they talk about when there's nothing else to talk about but now it's actually making headlines based off of major events that are coming into circulation and the fact that it's making mainstream conscience is a huge thing for cryptocurrency and this space so as you guys can see so far the spotlight of mainstream media has been on bitcoin which is the largest crypto and blockchain network and market cap though it seems the other networks are starting to get recognition in regards to ethereum and xrp so as you guys can see i do have the video pulled up um, and i will show you guys that in a second but it pretty much goes into discussion it ends by saying while many of the realm of traditional finance may be confused about the viability of ripple and its products firms that have used the company's products have claimed to have seen improvements in their business which is awesome so the fact that this news video is actually talking about this is huge news for the um you know rest of the space and the crypto market as a whole so hopefully i don't get demonetized from this playing we'll see with the volume on but let's check it out is there for the users that are transaction, uh, transacting on cryptocurrencies. And actually, if, if each central bank ends up having their own digital currency, won't that just be the same as different physical currencies? How would transactions be any easier? Sure, so right now... So for those of you who haven't seen it, just stopping it right here really quick, it's pretty awesome that BBC News, such a big platform, is actually discussing cryptocurrency xrp we saw shown in the video on their phone as well as the other big major cryptocurrencies but let's continue this see if they mention it it's only a minute long and uh, we'll talk about it after now, if you're making a cross-border transaction it's really um, time consuming the settlement the clearing and settlement takes days and it's expensive it's expensive for companies it's expensive for governments it's not good for the economy uh, but what we're seeing here is really this government versus private economies that are coming head to head so you will see for example ripple has a, who produces the xrp and there you go they just mentioned it xrp cryptocurrency token are producing some commercial opportunities for companies to do cross-border exchange removing the multiple day process and handovers by using cryptocurrency very volatile not yet proven 
But central banks are starting to look at this. They're seeing that these... So that's the pretty cool thing about this too, is that you can see in cross-border payments from uh, international banks to different banks that they're basically discussing that XRP is uh, a system that can be implemented within major central banks to kind of shorten that process as well as the fees. You know, a bank transfer from India to America may take a couple of days and is quite costly, but using Ripple XRP and their blockchain-based system underneath it can actually cause a quicker transaction speed with a lot less transaction fees. So it's definitely something that these big central banks are looking into adopting. As we know, XRP Ripple is based and uh, likes to target big commercial brands and banks of that nature. But then they start to mention um, XRP Ripple in regards to its price, that it's volatile, things like that. As we know, Ripple and XRP are two separate entities, XRP now being the coin, uh, Ripple or XRapid being the software, the tech, uh, technical stuff that the banks are actually using to implement. So they are completely different, and I believe the blockchain technology used from that does not change in price compared to the XRP token. So I believe they are mistaken in that reference there, that they're comparing the uh, software used, comparing it to XRP itself, because I do think those things are separate and different. As for using the actual monetary XRP token for your own transactions, that goes like any other cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin. Those, yes, they do fluctuate like stocks do, and you can use them for major transactions all over the world very quickly and very, very, very inexpensive. So let's let this wrap up, then we'll go into some technical analysis. Private companies are doing things. You mentioned Facebook's Libra project. All of these activities, uh, including other central banks that are moving forward quickly, such as China and Sweden, it's causing movement in the marketplace. And I think every government should be looking at this closely, and I know that they are. Natalie, thank you very much. So that's huge. Honestly, right off the bat, that is just some massive news. The fact that other major countries, Sweden and China, are using blockchain, are starting to use, or at least dipping their toes in blockchain technology, opens major windows and major doors for the potential for this to go mainstream. Now, once again, obviously, it will not, it will not or won't be the actual coin itself, but just giving more attention and positive news on mainstream media to cryptocurrencies itself may cause a significant impact in the actual coin market cap and see these prices of these cryptos start to move up as they become uh, more of a mainstream thing being used in retail investments, big financial institutions. It will cause a surge in the price more than definitely as we saw in 2017. Now you can see ultimately that the top 10 cryptocurrencies, yes, they are down, but you can see the small uptrend that they're starting to form, which is honestly great. You can see since that bearish pull to the downside, all the coins are pretty much in sync. All the top, I'd say 13 coins from the 13th position all the way to the fifth position and then up from the third to the first position they're all in sync with each other which is quite interesting to see that most of these coins have finally started to follow the same path as Bic bitcoin so now to continue off that you can see easily what exactly is happening you can see the small uptrend forming on the four hour which honestly i do not believe will hold it is most definitely going to retrace back down lower you can see the small bearish cross on the macd so in terms of short-term trade and and short-term movement we are going to see this reflect and, and break bearish, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. Now, for those of you who, this would have been a great you know leverage trade uh, right here. For those of you who haven't sold, probably might consider doing so, buying back in when the price gets lower. You can see that we did break bullish from the descending triangle that was forming on its relative strength indicators. And we're just now starting to see potentially a bullish cross on the MACD on the daily. But for the most part, you can see we did retest bottom support here. And this is honestly a massive, massive, massive thing for this coin. The fact that the uptrend started all the way back in the beginning of 2019 in, I'd say, the end of January, and we're finally coming to retest this at the end of the year, it is pretty awesome to see that this support holds quite well. Ultimately, what this is referencing is the fact that there is a major resistance too, and that we're pretty much at the end game of what could be happening for 2019. You can see that there's literally just a couple of weeks, I'd say at most three weeks of consolidation into the point of the symmetrical triangle before we see potentially a major break to the upside or retracement to the downside. Now, now, for those of you who have not taken advantage of an account called Dudex, I highly recommend you do so. The reason being is because Dudex allows you to buy long and sell short, which is awesome. So basically preparing yourself for making potential money on big runs within XRP, Ethereum, as well as Bitcoin. Now, unfortunately, only on Dudex right now, you can only trade Bitcoin. But as we know, because these cryptocurrencies are in sync, as you can see on the market cap, it is good to take advantage of Bitcoin's move because it will affect ultimately XRP and those other altcoins. 
Another thing to consider is the fact that you can leverage trade, which means you can basically uh, make your position even bigger if you're only investing two or three hundred dollars. You can actually leverage this, you know, up to a hundred times, which is huge, and you can lose quite a bit fairly quickly. Um, but you know, smaller numbers, five, ten times, even twenty-five times, if you're doing the calculations correct, may ultimately let you make quite a bit of money in a short period of time and trade around with a lot more money than you currently have. Now, there's a ton of risk involved in this, but it is something to consider. And I've made a fair bit of money. Now, I am considering making a full in-depth review to share with you guys off tips and tricks that I've learned since um, using Dudex that may help all of you guys in regards to how to buy, sell, all the different you know things that aren't necessarily displayed on the charts right here. But if you haven't already signed up for Dudex, it is the first link in the description. This will allow you guys to get ready and prepare yourself for the run that is coming. And you guys will be making quite a bit similar to what I will be doing. Now, notice that we are getting very close. There is only, I'd say, a mere 25 days left in what could be the end of this symmetrical triangle. We're looking more for like three weeks, uh, 21 days in that area, you know, in the general region right about here. We're probably going to retrace down once again, test the bottom at 69.50, and then we could see that potential rise to the upside. Now, Ethereum, similar to the other cryptocurrencies, are hitting resistance right here, the top of its resistance where it was a previous support. Similar with Litecoin and its descending fractal, starting to climb itself into here, trading sideways. We're all pretty much in sync, as I suggested and you can see on the weekly on XRP it's massive descending triangle very similar with XR or with Bitcoin symmetrical triangle this descending one does tend to end a little bit later though in terms of the end of February you can see it does show and explain that we could be seeing prices as low as 15 cents in the long term within XRP before seeing a potential massive break so even if we do head to 16 cents it's only temporary before we see any sort of major blast to the upside so that's pretty much going to wrap up today's episode guys if you want more of these technical analyst charts and you want these before they actually get published on youtube i highly recommend you check out my patreon that is the second link in the description this gives you access to not only me personally but all of my charts live updating before they actually get published on youtube so i highly recommend you check those out as well otherwise make sure you are subscribed turn on subscriptions turn on post notifications this way you do not miss out on a single video and you know potentially important update that could cost quite a bit of money or make you quite a bit of money. So I highly recommend you subscribe and turn on those post notifications. Otherwise, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.